Italian man. Huh? Ah! What is going on here? Oh! Can I got shut the fuck up? Yeah! And it's low-key lockdown, and as y'all know, after his defeat, after, you know, being defeated by his longtime rival, Israel Adesani, uh, Alex Pereira is going to be moving up to 205. And, you know, there's a lot of monsters at 205, but Alex Pereira is here to fight all of them. So, man, the first thing that was brought up in 205, you know, the first name that was brought up in 205 for uh, Alex Pereira to fight was Jamal Hill, which is kind of crazy because, you know, that's going straight at the champ. You know, Jamal Hill is he's a beast of his own, you know, sweet dreams. Sweet dreams are made of these. Let me stop. But yeah, man, look, this is a pretty interesting matchup, actually. You know, I'm not going to lie. Just because it's going to be a stand-up the whole time. It's going to be a stand-up the whole time, and it's two people that really have those bombs in their hands. And I really want to see what Poetan can do at a heavier weight class where he's not as drained as he is. He looked like he could barely make 185, really. He looked like he could barely make that weight class. Knock on bullshit. Then you got Jamal Hill, who looks like he's Juice World's cousin. You know, he's been out here defending his little shit. He's been out here doing his shit, though. And I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, Jamal Hill... Not, wait a minute. It's, maybe I'm tripping. But yeah, he's definitely out here doing his shit, though. I'm not gonna lie. Jamal Hill is definitely doing him. He's got uh, quite a bit of power in those hands. Good, interesting style. He could switch it up quite a bit. Very unorthodox fighter, um, I might add. Honestly, I seen him do some Bruce Lee shit in one of his fights, and, you know, I'm just hooked. That's kind of interesting to me. Uh, how a guy who's built like somebody's stepfather or uncle could really be out here just whipping everybody ass like how he is. Like he beat Tiago Santos, Glover Teixeira. You know, he's had some pretty good competition, man. Then, you know, also um, Poetan has also beaten the likes of Israel Adesani, Sean Strickland, etc. I would very much argue that Israel Adesani was better than all the people that Jamal Hill beat. So, you know... I mean, you can't say that they're that far away from each other in, like, skill. I mean, skill-wise. I mean, really, it's all just about the match makeup for them. Like, it's really all about the match makeup. It doesn't even matter about the skill level. It's really about how their styles conflict each other. Because a lot of people don't have to be more skilled than you to beat you. If their style just so happens to be the kryptonite to your style, then you might end up getting beat. But honestly, they have similar styles. They're both very unorthodox. I mean, look at how Alex Pereira stands up very straight with his hands out like an old-time boxer and shit. And somehow it works. He does a very good job at this. You know, I mean, of course, it has his cons, you know, where he gets hit and he gets pretty much cleaned up a lot. Not cleaned up. I mean, he gets tagged up, especially like by uh, fighters like, uh, what the fuck is his name? I can't remember his name. I know his name. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. Give me a minute. Give me a second. <sighs> Bruno Silva. Yeah, he got tagged up by Bruno Silva. And, um, you know, that's just because he, he keeps his hands low. And what he does with his jab is he comes down with his jab. And I guess that's, like, you know, something that you taught him in Thailand. But it's, you know, it, it has a lot of cons. I mean, I guess it gives him more power, but it also leaves him very much exposed. He has very strong, snappy leg kicks, as we've seen. He was... Destroying Israel Adesanya's legs, absolutely chopping his legs in the, in the garbage. He has the worst corner I think I've ever seen in the UFC in my life. His corner is shit. His corner should be fucking fired. They are literally causing this man, but I honestly think they caused him to lose that last fight with Israel Adesanya. Like, did you hear? Did you see him arguing with his corner the whole time, bro? They was pressing him to do this. He was like, "Oh yeah, hurry up, hurry up, just rush him, rush him, rush him, bro." They, they are the worst corner men in the world. They they need to be fired. I mean, maybe it's his, maybe it must be relatives that are his cornermen, because that shit was really embarrassing, bro. He needs to find better support system. Uh, honestly, Alex Pereira, as y'all know, he had a late start to uh, fighting in his life, you know, around his 20s. And uh, he just, he's been, a, he's been a unit since he started, though. He's honestly has been a unit since he started. Y'all know Poetan, Stone Hands. He's got those hands made of stone brick. That's the Brazilian hunter right there. He gonna hunt you down and pound you with them fists that he got. That left hook that he got is ridiculous. Them snappy ass, hard ass kicks that he got are also ridiculous. You know, he's a kickboxer. That's one thing to uh, stay about him. You don't want to just stand up and strike with a kickboxer because they're like one of the best type of strikers that you can even fight in general. You know, Alex Pereira, him being like just, you know, just tall and built like a goddamn tank. 
and also being able to move around pretty well and a decent chin on him. You know, I think that he could give Jamal Hill quite a few problems. Jamal Hill, I mean, he's pretty, I mean, look, bro. Jamal Hill will stand and strike with you. Absolutely, he will. He can definitely stand and strike. He can definitely stand up and strike with anybody. He's got that heart in him. He's got that dog in him, bro. He just is him. You feel me? He just is him, man. Look, one thing I can say about both fighters is they're definitely not afraid to, to stand in that heat, man. They're definitely not afraid to stand in that heat. Jamal Hill, I think his endurance has um, increased quite a bit. He moves way smarter than he looks. And, you know, maybe I misjudged him because I was like, yeah, he just looks like a, a brute force kind of guy at first. But then, like, you know, I noticed he has some pretty, like, you know, some technical ways to his movement, man. I like it. I like it from him. He looks real good, man. And Alex Pereira, he's he's a stone-faced, yo, bro. I just don't even know how to describe him, man. He's just, uh, he's not even human, bro. He's a stone. But, yeah, man, look, bro. This could be an interesting matchup. I have this fight 45 to 55 in favor of Jamal Hill. But I definitely think that Alex Pereira could win because, you know, he's just heavy handed too. Like, bro, he's got those hands that you can't really ever say a fight is too much out of his favor because anybody knows that if, you know, anybody that fights knows if you get hit hard enough, bro, you're going to sleep. So if with Alex Pereira, damn. With Alex Pereira having those heavy hands and those snappy kicks and his range, I think he's a lot taller. I think he's taller than Jamal Hill. And he also has a longer reach, I think. And, you know, just with his ability to kickbox like that and the fact that Jamal Hill will stand up and kickbox with him, I think that it could definitely be a catastrophe if, you know, he catches one of those lefts or one of those kicks to his head, man. That could be really bad for him. But with that being said, man, we out. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Like, comment, subscribe, and, you know, gang. <laughs>